key light, fill light, and background light. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's me, Jeremy, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about my latest purchase, the Godox ES45. These are the key lights that you're looking at right now. This is the box that it comes in. I'll tell you everything you need to know before you make your purchase. So, let's start with the unboxing. This is the box that it comes in, the Godox ES45. Um, it's a eSports LED light. That's what ES stands for. That's the back of the box. Very nice, yes. Now let's take a look at what's inside. So this is the light itself, the LED panel. And then at the back, this is how it looks like. This is for the power. This is the on off switch. There's this area here for you to put the um, controller and it's magnetic as well. So it just gets attached there, okay. And you can mount this on four different sides. You can mount it here, 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 and here. So if you want your light to be vertical, you can, okay, however you want it, all right? Next up is, of course, the instructions manual. We also have the uh, power adapter and the power socket, as well as the table clamp. Now, this table clamp here is uh, 38 cm in length, but it can extend just by doing this, okay, on both ends like this to about one meter, right? So it can extend to about one meter. It has a ball head here that you can easily rotate the light to any direction you want, okay, how you like to tilt it. And of course, the table clamp over here. Very sturdy material, all metal, okay? And this is about six centimeters, and then this is about five centimeters in depth, all right? Now let's take a closer look at the lights. So this is the light itself. You just plug in the power, turn it on, and then you can use this controller to control the light. Just turn it on like this. And then let me just flip this over so you can have a better view. It's at currently at 0% to turn it on, just tweak this and it goes from 2800 Kelvin to 6500 which means it goes from warm light to bright light like this. So at 1% it is already pretty bright, right? If you look at it, see, it lights the uh, controller very nicely. That's only at 1% and then of course we go up, you can go up to 100%, no issue. Sorry for the super exposed, super overexposed footage, but you get the idea. Okay, now let's take a look at the table clamp. To mount it, simply attach the clamp over to the table and tighten the bottom part like this. If this thing is sticking out and it's blocking anything, simply pull down and twist to turn it inside, and now it stays in place. The next thing you want to do is to screw on the light panel itself onto the mounting rod. Once you're done, you can use the ball head to tilt and adjust any direction you want. Once you're settled on that, simply tighten. And you can also adjust the height of the light. Now let me tell you why I love the Godox ES45. First and foremost, the lights are very nice and soft, okay? They are not harsh like some of the other lights that I've used before. Like if I were to turn off one, you can still see that, you know, it's very nice and cinematic in that sense. <laughs> also, they are very gentle to the eyes, which means that it won't make your eyes feel uncomfortable even if you do long live streams or Zoom meetings or virtual shows throughout the day. Another thing is if you like to control your lights via your phone, you can. You can uh, download the Godox Light app. It is available for both Android and iOS devices. And um, you can change the brightness, color temperature, so on and so forth. I personally tried it and I didn't really like it. It is not exactly user friendly, but try it. Let me know what you think. One more thing that I should mention is that as much as the key light or lighting your subject is important, background lighting is, I would say, equally important as well. Let me give you an example. If I were to turn off the background lighting right now, you can see that, you know, everything feels very one layer, right? Very flat. Agree? 
but with proper background lighting, it will kind of separate you, the subject, from your background, therefore making the whole image or the whole video look nicer. Now, that background lighting is also from Godox. Um, it is very small. This is it. <laughs> this is the Godox CL10. I will make another video to tell you more about this. It is not just good background lighting, but actually you can do a lot more with uh, a lot of control and functions over here. I bought my lights from MS Color. I'll leave all the links in the description below. If you ever visit, do tell them that magician Jeremy Tan sent you. Lastly, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Also, if you found this video useful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss another video. That's all for me. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. It's available for both Android and iOS. iOS. <laughs> that if you like to control your phone via. Control your phone. <laughs> Key light, fill light, and.